Now, we have people on TV talking about being afraid. Afraid to come outside. They're afraid. So, what are the lessons we learn? What do we learn from Grant? Oscar Grant. Johannes Measurement. What do we learn? They assume that people's actions are based on trying to gain fame. I'm listening to some of the quotes these people are reading off their Facebook page. How the communities bashing the Grant family. And the communities are, are bashing the situation. Oh, they just did this job. He should be set free. Would anything be different if Johannes Mesley was a black cop? Would be different. I can't call it friends, enemies, whoever's watching me. I can't call it. What was learned from Johannes Measurely? Hold on. This is what was learned. If you are a person of color or a person of a low economic stature, you are bound to laws beyond the laws of mankind. I get I get beyond the laws of God. You are bound to some laws that are stronger than God. The laws of men are stronger than the laws of God. Pretty sure God didn't want people going around shooting each other in the back or killing each other or tearing up shit. What did you learn from Oscar Grant? I learned that they say he was resisting arrest and that's why he was shot. The underlying bottom line is he was resisting arrest. You can be shot in the back in the United States of America for verbal resist now. That's what I learned from Oscar Grant. And I want everybody out there, not just black people, to understand this shit. When somebody got a gun and they think they scared and, and you're scaring them and you're resisting arrest with your voice, that's why he got shot. Like I said a long time ago in the beginning, take the gun out of the man's hands and you're torturing somebody because they won't shut up. What did you learn from Johannes Measurely? You learn if you go to work and these people get on your nerves and you made a mistake that I just made a mistake and kill someone. You learn that it's okay to make a mistake and kill somebody in the name of the law. But it wasn't determined that this man had even broken any laws yet. Resisting arrest is breaking the law. Was he under arrest yet? And for what was he under arrest yet? For him to have to be sentenced to death. Oh, wait a minute. To be sentenced to electricity. Shock therapy. And first of all, let me tell you something. When you're tasered, your muscles twitch. 
your muscles are twitching. So the first thing the cop says, oh, we tasered him and he began to resist arrest. They said Oscar Grant's hands was in front of him. They said his hands was behind him and in his handcuff. When was the last time the police laid you down with your hands in front of you? Have you ever been arrested or pulled over by any police officer and they told you to get on the ground and put your hands underneath you? I have never in the entire 40 years of my life ever even seen that done on TV. Don't. Please don't. Don't patronize the words in my mind. I know you're saying it, but, but, but he was resisting. Your Highness was just doing his job. I hope your Highnesses, I hope it's a whole bunch of your Highnesses out there start shooting some of you ass dumb white kids. I really do. Some of you white people out there are saying, he was just doing his job. Wait until a couple of white people get shot for nothing, and you tell me that these cops are doing their job. I hope you people haven't forgot. Have you folks even seen the movie Easy Rider? You see what people do to people who look different? Even the people of their own color. Please, people. Please. They shoot this little black kid now in the back. They will shoot your little white kids in the back, too. You are not immune. And let me tell you, folks. We all wish that we could live in a glass castle with a moat around it and people serving us hand and foot. I do. I even got white maids. But that's just a dream. But I'm not trying to have that dream happen. I don't want no white maid. So listen. People, I can play race with you all day. And it'd be fun. It's fun to play race because that takes people off what's really going down. A citizen, an American citizen, regardless of what color he was, was shot in the back by a peace officer. Not a security guard. Not a, um, uh, what's those guards? What's those guards? The armored, the armed guards that, that, that carry money in the banks and stores. He wasn't even an armored guard. You understand what I'm getting at here? Whenever somebody in position to protect shoots somebody and makes a mistake, they should not have like, okay, fine, it's good. Send his ass to federal fucking prison. Send his ass somewhere for where he know that mistake he made cost him at least 10 years. This, I shot somebody when I didn't have to shoot somebody. That's 10 years. You know, just take, just take the evil that people spend, people put on it. Because that's what the judge found. The judge found that, you know, this guy he just don't have no record, ain't did nothing bad. You know, find the guy not to be racist. He wasn't racist. He made a mistake. You need to put a standard on that shit. And that's where the problem is. Because not everybody's Billy Badass, he'll Billy Cop no more. They're still out there. But these guys ain't trying to do that. They, you know, they ain't trying to be super badass cop. The guy made a mistake and fucked up. Probation? You know, I can be driving my car and, you know, my arm go out and swerve, and run over uh, a, a, a lady just sitting at the bus stop. I'm going to get more than two years. The word going around is they gave Michael Vick four years killing dogs and took all his fucking money from me. And then they're saying, Johannes Mesley may do up to seven months. But then people did, he got two years. He did, what, he's getting credit for ten months time served. Or what, they, no, they said seven months time served. Eight to seven months he's going to get credit for time served. You do the year. You do the time. I mean, you know, 50% of two years it's 12 months. Take away seven. Well, you can do up to seven. No. That's 14 months you'd have to do. That's more like, no. That's, well, seven, seven, eight. Come on, man. I mean, seven more months would mean he done 14 months based on what time they've already given me. 
But actually, he's only been locked up since, what, three months ago. So he's been locked up for three months. This case has been going on for two years. Locked up for three months. He gets two years. They're going to give him credit for seven months, they say. Some shit like that. Some. So if you give somebody credit for seven months, he gets a year. He only has to do, uh, he gets two years, he only has to do 50%. Come on, man. He'd be out in three months. Two months. The first guy said 70 days. That is two months. For killing somebody. A mistake. Vehicular manslaughter. Look it up. Look up every time somebody was accidentally killed. Look up, uh, people have gone, gotten more time for, for stealing. They got a three strikes law. You can get caught shoplifting. Be your third strike. You could have been, you know, shoplifting two times before. Two felony shoplifts. The third shoplifting. That's more time than what Johannes Melzer get. There's criminals out there that built and robbed the whole state of California. They might have got more time. More probation time. Martha Stewart might actually spend more time locked up than it. Lindsay Lohan has spent more time in jail than this man will. Charlie Sheen. No, oh, well, not Charlie Sheen. But you get the picture. You get what I'm saying here. You understand what I'm saying? Do you understand the significance of what I'm saying? Murder. Murder. Accidental homicide. Homicide. Hom accidental homicide. Torture. Less than 12 months. What have you learned? from Oscar Grant. Torture. Public execution. What have you learned, Oscar Grant? You gonna let that crazy dog in here on me? Yep. Thanks. So once again, folks, I'll close up my Oscar Grant, Johannes Measurely coverage. And I end you with this. You can be shot in the back for resisting arrest. Verbally. For talking back to a police officer. He now can shoot you because of the fear. The fear that you're going to say something and excite a riot. Or you're going to say something and belittle his or her manhood or womanliness. Your verbal threats will no longer go on deaf ears. They will shoot you for talking shit now. So get your head on a swivel. All of you. You can't even talk back to a police officer now. And as a police officer, you can be convicted. And now, they see. And now, there's been one notch one run up the ladder the next cop is going to get more time next cop more time don't believe me you don't have to believe me but you should believe me cops have been arrested for murder cops have been put away but no cop has been put away for shooting a black person in the back ever and if you can show me one that has you let me know but I bet you you can show me a pretty large amount of pictures of black people that have been shot in the back for defending themselves verbally. You can't speak back now in America. The door is closed. Thank you. Speaking from Grant's tomb. Bless the families. Bless the loss. May justice one day find its way. You've been too.